using Python's RE module to process text files. Let's open up Python 3. And now, let's open up a file. I already had the path to the text of Moby Dick on my clipboard, so all I did was paste it in. But you can find Moby Dick at the same address. Let's open up a file object using the open method. And let's get the text of the file line by line using the read lines method. Now we have a list of lines. Now let's say that we wanted to find every occurrence of the character's name Ahab in this list of lines. We could do so we could do so several ways, but right now we're going to do so using the RE module, which stands for regular expression. We'll start a for loop, iterating, iterating over the lines. And then we'll use the match method in the RE module to find out if the name Ahab is in that line. So for every line in lines, if we find a match to the name Ahab in that line, print the line. That's not all that's going on, but we'll see in just a second. Okay, two things to notice. If we scroll back up, we notice we're using RE match. Now this is typically the first matching method that many people use when trying to learn RE. But if you notice where the occurrence of Ahab is in every line, that should tell you something about the nature of the function match. You'll notice that Ahab begins every line, and in fact that's what match is returning whether or not the line begins with the pattern. The other thing you might notice is that we have blank lines in between each line. And the reason for that is the way that the lines were stored inside lines. That is, it has to do with the output of read lines. Read lines gives a list of lines with a new line on the end of each line. So by iterating over each line and printing it, we are also printing the new line that's in the list plus the new line that generally follows the print command. So we could change a couple of things. Let's leave the match method present for now. 
and focus on the print statement, we can get rid of that extra white space at the end of every line by using the strip method. Now let's see what our output looks like. Okay, our output looks much better, but we're still left with the problem. That is, if what we want to do is find every occurrence of Ahab in the text, we're still left with the issue that match only returns lines that begin with Ahab. We can fix this behavior by using the method search instead of match. And now you'll see that Ahab occurs not just in the beginning of the line, but it could occur in the beginning of the line. And we have many more lines to look at now. So it looks like we were successful in finding all lines containing the name Ahab. Maybe we want to do more. Maybe we want to find occurrences of Ahab and Moby Dick. And let's assume that Moby is enough to look for Moby Dick. Now my regular expression is saying find an occurrence of Ahab or an occurrence of Moby in each line. Let's see what we get. Okay. Now we have lines that contain Ahab, but also lines that contain Moby Dick. So we've been successful in finding all occurrences of Ahab or Moby. So by using the regular expression module in Python, we are able to perform more powerful searches over strings. Let's take a look at another example. I'm going to press Control D and end my Python interpreter session. And now I'm going to execute a Python script called reformat phrases.py. And I'm going to pass to this script two arguments. One is a text file that I created called wordsandphrases.txt. And the other is a file that doesn't exist yet, but it will. And we'll just call that output.txt. All right, let's see what happened. First, we'll look at wordsandphrases.txt. In my file are a list of abbreviations as well as their full phrases. It doesn't have to be abbreviations and phrases for this application. It could just be lines with a single token and lines with more than one token. And for a particular application I encountered, I found it was useful that to have in every instance where I had a space between tokens, I found it was useful to have quotes on either side of such a line with more than one token separated by spaces. And of course it's very annoying to have to go through the entire file and place quotes around every single phrase while leaving the words without quotes.
So this is the desired output. Quotes around every line with a space, and no quotes around every line without a space. So let's take a look at the Python script and see how we accomplish this. First, we imported three modules, RE, which we've been discussing, Sys, which we have discussed before, and OS, which is a module that pays attention to the operating system and how paths are specified. And we'll be using all of these in our script. Down at the bottom, if name equals main, so we want to check that we have really two arguments. So if sys argv, if its length equals three, or that is, if it doesn't equal three, then print the usage message. Y3, again, sys.argv, position zero, index zero, that's the name of the script, position one, contained our input file, and position 2, index 2, contained our output file. And so we pass both index 1 and index 2 as arguments to main. Main does what we want it to do, places quotes around the lines with more than one token in a text file, and specifically those separated by spaces. So the first thing we do is check that the input file exists, and we do that using the OS module, os.path.exists, returns true if this file name exists, and false if it does not. So clearly, if it does not exist, we want to print an error message saying so, and then exit. So then, here is the whole of our script after the check for the file. With, this is a different syntax for opening a file that makes sure that the file is closed after we complete what's inside the with block. Now we forgot to close the file before, so by using this syntax we can make sure that we remember or don't have to think about closing the file each time. So we open the file, we read in the lines, and then we can use the RE module to compile a pattern. So here we have more than one instance of any character, followed by more than one, one or more instances of a space, followed by one or more instances of any character and then the beginning and the end of the line, signified by the caret and the dollar sign. So using RE, we can store a pattern to use over and over again. And if we have different statements using the RE module, we don't have to retype the pattern or copy and paste the pattern every time. All we need to do is put in the pattern variable where appropriate. 